Hello everyone, my name is Lindsay and in this video I'm going to describe some of the benefits and helpful ways of using the master controllers as well as some of the things that you want to avoid. That way your master controller experience is smooth because this is an advanced rigging technique and it might take a little bit of practice getting used to. Both the slider and grid master controllers are powerful script-based tools that gives the user a simple way to create and use their own widgets that can control basic to complex animated manipulations. The master controller has its own view and toolbar, and we can bring those up just by using this drop-down tab to display the master controller view, and we can also pull up the toolbar by right-clicking and selecting it from the menu. I like to add it to my timeline toolbar since it's so small, and it is a timeline-based tool. The interpolation slider will be great for either flipping through drawings or for more simple movements. While the grid wizard is a bit more of a robust tool that will let you interpolate between multiple poses, creating very unique in-betweens based off a few key poses. The master controller will create nodes that will automatically be created in a composite bar of your choosing. But this will be important to remember as you will always want to have your master controller travel within the build's templates. Combining master controllers can be difficult. When you are setting up your master controllers, some of the things to consider in the setup process that it is best to keep them all separate from one another. This way you can avoid them from interfering and overriding each other. In the following videos, we will be creating and customizing our very own slider and grid master controllers and applying them to simple objects like this basketball. So you can quickly pick up the tools and create your very own master controllers. So you can eventually apply these techniques to larger files like 360 rigs.